Captain John Smith was an English soldier, explorer, colonial governor, and author. In December of 1606, 20 years after the lost Roanoke colony disappeared, Smith set sail to Virginia for the Virginia Company of London with the plan to colonize the land for profit. A year after Smith's arrival, he was captured by the Powhatan tribe where Pocahontas allegedly saved his life. Did Smith learn the fate of the lost Roanoke colony during captivity? Did Pocahontas really save him? Was there a romantic relationship between Smith and Pocahontas? How did Smith contribute to the Pilgrim settlement of Plymouth 13 years later? And do the descendants of Pocahontas and the Powhatan tribe still live in this area? And also the necklace worn by Princess Pocahontas in 1607. In 1596, Pocahontas was born into the Powhatan tribe, 13 miles north of here. In that same year, 16-year-old John Smith left England and sailed to France to serve as a mercenary for Henry IV of France against the Spaniards. Smith then traveled to the Mediterranean where he fought against the Ottoman Turks in the Long Turkish War. He was promoted to cavalry captain while fighting for the Austrian Habsburgs and Hungary during the campaign of Michael the Brave. After the death of Michael the Brave, he fought for Radu Serban in Wallachia. Smith reputedly killed and beheaded three Ottoman challengers in single combat duels, for which he was knighted by the Prince of Transylvania and given a coat of arms showing three Turks' heads. In 1602, Smith was wounded in a skirmish with the Crimean Tatars, captured and sold as a slave. Smith was taken to Crimea where he killed his captor and escaped back through Europe and North Africa, returning to England in 1604. So Thanksgiving is almost here again. So back down here in Virginia, visiting family. Every time I visit this area, I can't help but think of the amount of history and really where it all began for this country in this area. The place I'm sitting here now is just on the eastern side of the York River. Just 13 miles north of here is the location where Pocahontas was born and she later met Captain John Smith. Just 15 miles behind me across the river is Jamestown and just across the river to slightly to the south is uh, Yorktown. In 1607, the Virginia Company, also known as the London Company, sent Captain John Smith to this area to attempt to set up a permanent settlement in Jamestown. They quickly ran out of food. They ended up setting up raiding parties, uh, attempted to trade, but it turned into a raiding party with the Powhatan Indians that lived on this side of the river. In that same year, 1607, Chief Powhatan set up the capital of the Powhatan tribe in what was called the Wericomico, which is actually just 13 miles north of this location. Um, after Captain Smith ended up making contact with Chief Powhatan, they originally agreed to do some trading and Captain John Smith agreed to build him a, an English style house as part of this trade for the corn. So there's actually a remnant of the chimney of that house. It was never finished, unfortunately. The chimney is approximately three miles north of here. In 1608, the people of Jamestown were starving. Smith then set out to meet Chief Powhatan to see if he could get some corn from him or make some type of deal. Chief Powhatan did agree to, to give them enough corn uh, in exchange for, for several guns, swords, a grindstone, and for, uh, for Captain Smith to actually have an English-style house built for him. Smith agreed to that and then sent individuals over here to start building a, a house for Chief Powhatan. That house was never completed as they had both ended up trying, attempting to ambush each other, and Smith took the corn by force, but this is the remnant of the chimney that remains from that partially built house originally to be constructed for Poetan. It's surrounded by a neighborhood now. It looks like it's mainly in the uh, in a couple different backyards.
here we are at another historic location closed off to the public. Once again, we can't get back to see the cool stuff hidden in the back there. This village was built by her father, Chief Poeton, and uh, he called it Werewakamako, or where the leadership reside. In April 1607, Captain John Smith arrived to Jamestown with the original settlers. They weren't doing so well as far as food was concerned and, uh, and disease. So Captain Smith then set out to, uh, to attempt to try to find food on this, this side of the York River. Uh, he ended up getting captured by one of the members of the Poetan tribe and brought back the chief Poetan here at uh, at their main main headquarters, basically. And this is where he actually met Pocahontas for the first time. Well, Smith wrote a book in 1608 called a, uh, a True Relation to Virginia, and he spoke about meeting Pocahontas when she was 10 years old. A couple years later, he would write another book. Uh, he actually referred to her as being 12 or 13 at that time. Historians do not believe that Pocahontas would have had the authority to stop an execution of a prisoner. It is also believed that what Smith was describing was a possible ritual of acceptance. It has also been pointed out that Smith did not describe Pocahontas saving him in his initial account of his capture. It would be years later that Smith would describe this in his writings. Some historians explain this discrepancy by the fact that Smith's original account was only geographical in nature. Pocahontas is believed to have been born in 1596. This would have made her 12 when Smith met her in 1608. Smith was 28. Historians largely agree that Pocahontas and Smith established a friendship, but Romantic era writers turned it into something more. I would no longer struggle against it. So I'm here at the Mattapani Indian Reservation just outside of the museum that's unfortunately closed. But the Mattapani were actually one of the original six tribes that were part of the Poetan uh, Confederacy. Allegedly, a necklace belonging to Pocahontas is on display inside this museum. The residents of this reservation are said to be descendants of the great chief Poetan, father of Pocahontas. In 1609, Captain Smith was injured in a canoe accident, so he actually got on a boat to go back over to England to get medical care. This is what the, the Jamestown settlers actually called the starving time. On July 24th, 1609, resupply ship the Sea Venture was headed to Jamestown when it ran into a hurricane. The Sea Venture fought the storm for three days before Admiral Sir George Summers deliberately drove the ship into the reefs of Bermuda. All aboard survived, including Stephen Hopkins, who would later sail on the Mayflower. At Jamestown, only 60 of the original 214 settlers survived. Lack of food drove the settlers to eat snakes and even boil leather from shoes. There is scientific evidence that the settlers had turned to cannibalism during the starving time. It was also during this period that the first Anglo-Poetan War began, which lasted until 1614. In March of 1613, Captain Samuel Argall arranged a plan to trick Pocahontas into boarding Argall's ship, where she was then captured and held for ransom, demanding the release of colonial prisoners held by her father and the return of stolen weapons and tools. Chief Poetan returned the prisoners but failed to satisfy the colonists with the number of weapons and tools returned. 
Pocahontas was held captive for a year where she met John Rolfe, whose wife and child had died on the way to Virginia after the wreck of the sea venture. Pocahontas took the baptismal name of Rebecca and the couple was married on April 5, 1614. The marriage created peace between the colonists and the Poetan tribe for eight years. In 1614, Captain Smith ended up sailing back over to the Americas or the northern end of the Virginias and uh, explored Maine, New Hampshire. He ended up actually naming that area New England. In 1615, Captain Smith sailed back towards New England to attempt to establish a settlement there. But while he was on the way, he was captured by French pirates and held captive again. But just like the last time, he escaped from captivity and made his way back to England. On June 12, 1616, Pocahontas and Rolf arrived in England. Pocahontas would die a year later at age 21. In 1620, the Pilgrims would approach him about leading an expedition back to this New England land. He ultimately was not selected, but the Pilgrims did use his maps when they approached the Americas. So it actually indicates that the tomahawk, once wielded by the great chief Opakana Canoe in the massacre of 1612 is inside of here, and also the necklace worn by Princess Pocahontas in 1607. The massacre of 1622 is also known as the Jamestown Massacre where the, uh, the Poetan Confederacy actually attacked Jamestown and uh, ended up killing about 346 settlers inside the uh, village. And it was actually uh, like a quarter of the, the population inside that village. Supposedly, the Indians just walked inside with all kinds of, um, of uh, to animals and food to trade, and, uh, and they were unarmed and ended up attacking the Jamestown settlers. That attack was used for years after to justify the further colonization of the land 